So, nahihirapan na akong i-balance yung motherhood and yung, yung business. So, sabi ko, sige, quit ako. <laughs> so, I quit! Hi, my name is Nike Nadal Reyes and I'm the owner of New Key and Company. Then I sell handmade crochet jewelry and accessory. I started when I was pregnant with my first child. Nasa bahay lang ako that time, tapos bored. <laughs> so, nag-decide ako na I wanted to try beading. Punta akong kiapo, no? Dami kong beads. But when I got home, I realized na I didn't have enough. Nakukulangan ako sa color lagi. And my mom is a crocheter and dami niyang materials. So, I thought, try ko nga mag-crochet to add color to my materials. And then, I realized na wala pa masyado gumagawa ng crochet jewelry and mixed media jewelry here in the Philippines. So, sabi ko, I could make this a thing. So, yun, I stuck with it. <laughs> Yung crochet, actually, mahirap lang siyang tignan. Pero once you get the hang of it, mechanical naman siya. Tapos, when I learned how to make the bead, meron siyang bead sa loob and then I crochet around it. Ayan na, yan na yung bread and butter ng Yuki. Yan na yung bumubuhay sa brand ever since. Pag narinig natin crochet, uh, naiisip lang natin, old! <laughs> Hindi lang lola. <laughs> lola talaga. That's what I love about it. Kasi may challenge din eh, to make it relevant. <laughs> I really wanted something different. Kahit marami na, na, gumagawa ng beads noong time na yon, gusto ko pa rin maiba. Crochet jewelry, parang disposable. I took that as a challenge to make my designs not disposable. <laughs> Unique enough para i-keep nung buyer. Kaya nag-decide din ako after some time na mag-source ng supplies from other places na. Yung crochet, cotton thread lang siya, pero pag sinamahan ko ng gold plated, elevated na each sura niya, hindi na siya mukhang disposable. <laughs> and also, of course, it lasts longer. Actually, hanggang ngayon, nakakagulat pa rin when I see people buying. And nakaka-inspire siya, actually. Whenever I see people, especially si Roma, pag suot niya yung earrings, I have to play it cool. Hindi pwedeng makiligin. <laughs> Pero sa totoo lang, inside, alam mo yun, tumutuwa ako. Kasi iba, iba yung feeling. Parang may nakaka-appreciate sa ginagawa mo. I really wanted to design. Yun yung na-enjoy ko, yung process of creating with my hands. Meron na akong vision in my head na gusto kong gawin. Kailangan ko lang siyang i-translate. What I do is bring out all of my materials. I, I kind of pick ano, beads, ganyan, colors. Yun, dun mabubuo yung design. At the same time, iniisip ko rin kung paano siya isusuot, how it will complement an outfit, kunwari, o kung paano gagamitin ng tao. So, walang nauuna or ano, sabay-sabay siyang nangyayari. Meron akong gustong gawin and then, but at the same time, kinoconsider ko rin kung paano siya gagamitin. Meron na akong idea of what I want, pero hahanap na lang ako ng inspiration, kunwari, online, sa Pinterest. What I usually find are pieces na hindi naman crochet. Mad marami yan, fine jewelry. But then, I see something and I think, pwede ko itong i-translate na crochet or I can put my spin on it. Hindi ko alam kung what is it about me, pero sobrang affected ako ng weather pag gray and gloomy, pangit yung mood ko. But when it's sunny out, pag bright, kita mo lahat ng colors, di ba? So yun, I feel alive. Creative expression ko kasi siya eh. It's an extension of myself and I get to express using color. I just want to make stuff that will make uh, women feel good about themselves so they can have good, a good mood also. Ah! There was one year that I quit actually. When I joined Common Room, meron ng real opportunities, di ba? And that time, since I had a baby, tapos wala akong help, ako lang lahat, yun na yung challenge for me, uh, manage my time and balance everything. Kasi yung crochet takes time talaga. <laughs> Na-overwhelm ako sa demand nung nag-open yung katipunan. Parang na parang, wow, may buhibili. <laughs> tapos kailangan mo na mag-restock. Nagkaroon na ng friction sa house. Tapos I, I had the second child pa noon. So nah nahihirapan na akong i-balance yung mother hood and yung, yung business. So, sabi ko, sige, quit ako. <laughs> so, I quit. Ngayon, nag-impakay ako. <laughs> and I cried. It was all very personal for me. Kasi, yun nga, nag-start to hobby lang eh. I, just, I was just so happy to be creating. Tapos yun, nung nagkaroon ng opportunities, dun pa ako 
nagipit <laughs> parang ganun nagipit sa time and managing skills <laughs> I felt miserable. Napansin na rin ang asuman ko. Na, namimiss ko na. Wala akong creative outlet. Ayun na, nagsistart na yung pop-ups ng common room sa power plant. Nag-visit ako doon. In-invite ako ni Roma ulit. <laughs> Sinabi niya, may mga naghahanap ng products mo. Naghihihintay ka lang nila. Ako, totoo ba to? <laughs> Actually, ganun pa rin ngayon. <laughs> Overwhelming pa rin ngayon. Pero what changed was my resolve. Yun nga, yung stubbornness ko. Kasi na-experience na, na ko na i-quit. Tapos, I know how it feels na wala na siya. So, sabi ko, hindi. Na, ayoko. <laughs> Miserable ako. Siyempre, nagbago rin yung attitude ko about it. Since ayoko nga i-give up to, eh, mas ipupush ko yung sarili ko to make it work. Kahit mahirap. Kung before, choice pa between kids and my business, ngayon, hindi na siya choice. Mas willing na kami mag-compromise to make it work. Kailang ko na ng help kasi instead of working on the business, I was working for the business kasi ako lang yung gumagawa. Pero ang dami ko pang kailangan gawin na admin side. But I didn't have that time kasi nga I was busy crocheting. And luckily, yung cleaning lady namin, <laughs> daughter niya, maroon na mag-crochet. Sabi ko, sige, try natin. So, tinuruan ko sila yung over some time, yun, natuto na rin sila ng beading, ganyan. So, sila na nag-assemble. Yung time na yun, mad madali ako mag-restock. Mas marami na kaming nagagawa kasi I had more time to design new stuff. Mas madali talaga pag may kasama, <laughs> may katulong kang gumagawa. Naku, ganyan ako at first na Sobrang kuripot na ako mag-shoot, ako, ako mag-print ng, ng packaging ko, ako lahat. Over time, I realized, mas magasto siya actually. Una, mas prone ako sa mistakes kasi hindi man ako professional. I realized din na mahal ang time. I invested my energy in teaching yung assistance ko. O yung hiring kasi feeling mo added cost. Pero sa totoo lang, yung return nun, mas malaki kasi uh, we came up with more products. So may yung return, mas ulit. Mas nakatipid ako actually than doing everything on my own. Number one, invest in yourself. So if you want to make it a business, then treat it as a business. <laughs> Take time to learn. And dami dami ng resources, lada na ngayon. Kung hindi man paid workshops, and daming free content. If you add value to yourself, then mas marami yung value that you can put out into the world. <laughs> Find out what makes you feel alive. When I quit, it was then that I realized na ito talaga yung na-enjoy kong gawin. Stick with it and paglaban mo. <laughs> Ganon. Put your energy to it, pero do it wisely. Just realize that naysayers are just that. <laughs> are just naysayers. Yun lang yun. At the end of the day, it's still up to you. Kasi nga hindi uso yung crochet jewelry, no? So parang sila, ano yun, crochet, pang lola. Pero ako, I was stubborn and I just knew inside me na hindi Eh, may potential to. So, yun, I stuck with that. So, noise lang yun. Hayaan sila. Do your thing. Don't be afraid to start small. Believe that everything you need in a particular time, you have that na Or to grow, you will feel it. Pagkailangan mo na ng level up. Pero don't be afraid to start small. I also learned this the hard way. Say no to perfectionism. Ang hirap niyan. Perfectionism is not like striving to do everything perfect. Perfectionism is like you want things to be perfect first before you do actually do something. Yun yung nakaka-paralyze na perfectionism. I struggled with that early on. I have a design in my head, but I don't have the materials. I get paralyzed na hindi ako makausad with my design. So what happens is that hindi na ako gagawa. But what I learned is, okay lang, gawa ka lang ng gawa. Kahit hindi yun yung perfect in your mind, nahuhun pa rin yung skills mo eh. Before, I thought, I have to have this, I have to have a studio for me to be able to create, para maging creative, guys. Hindi. <laughs> you you already have what you need. You, uh, make do with that. Everything will follow naman eh. So don't aim for perfection. Aim for progress. <laughs>